Well, hello, my YouTube friends. So I determined that the cause of the clutch cable always breaking is the Barnett coil spring conversion, and it's just too much pressure for the stock cable. So I'm going back to the factory diaphragm spring. This should solve the problem, although I am keeping the Barnett Kevlar uh, friction discs, so hopefully the clutch won't slip like it was doing before under hard acceleration. And what follows next is that process. Okay, so uh, hold on. All right, let's see if I can loosen this lock nut without putting the Allen wrench in there to hold that. Since I'm not finely, I'm not finely adjusting it, give it a quick Okay, so that's loose. All right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to loosen each one of these bolts, and they're a size 9 millimeter. No, 10 millimeter, of course. <laughs> so I'm going to loosen each one a little because I don't want to warp this flat piece of steel. Okay, and I'll bring you back when I'm done with that. Okay, now they're loose. So I move the drain pan so when they fall, they don't fall into the drink. And I don't have to fish them out with a magnet. So significant increase in clamping force with these coil springs. Unfortunately, that increase in clamping force was more force than the stock cable could withstand. All right, out comes the Barnett pressure plate. It is a thing of beauty. And now back goes the factory pressure plate. Let's add a little lubrication. And you're going to say, oh, that's oil. Yeah, I mean, that's dirty oil. You got it. Why is it red? It's red because the Kevlar friction discs require type F, transmission fluid. And it's clean enough. So let's put that back. If I can remember how it goes, that would be quite helpful. Let's see, that has the word out on it. There we go. And that screws into there. And that when the time comes will be properly adjusted. But for now, for right now, back goes the factory diaphragm, the factory thingamajig. And yeah, I know, everybody watching this is a better mechanic, smarter, knows more, has better tools than I do. But I never promised that I would be the best mechanic you'd ever see on YouTube.
Okay, so there you go. So get these started. Go around in your star pattern and tighten them up evenly, slowly and evenly, just a little bit in your star pattern. Okay, and I'll bring you back after I've done that. Okay, they're all in place. So you don't really need to see me tighten them. You can trust me. You can take my word for it. Okay, hold on. All right, I got all six of the bolts in. They're all snugged up tight to professional torque standards. Now this center push rod, and you can see as I screw it in, this other little plate works its way out. So that has to go in. I'm going to screw this out because there's a certain way that it works and there's a groove in there that this snap ring has to go in. So I'm going to get that installed, hopefully. <laughs> See if I can do it here without stopping the video. Man, if I can find the... There it is. shed some light on the subject and there okay now this is gonna have to be properly adjusted we'll do that later right now I just want to get the uh, the cover back on it so that I can move it out of the middle of the garage. Right. And when it comes time to adjust it, I'll show you the manual. So hold on a second. All right, here's the outer primary cover. Now the drain plug is right here. It's a 3 16 Allen. Okay, I'll put that in. And this inspection cover right here, these, this bolt, the rear one and the top one, they go all the way through and they screw in right there and right there. So I'm going to put this with a new gasket up on the inner primary. See, here's one of your mounting studs. That's helpful. And this other gasket, I'm going to have to put it on the inside of this cover that's why I'm putting these two on first because that has to stay in there. If it doesn't go on properly, then it'll cause a leak, I guess. Okay, so hold on a second. Okay, I got the new gasket in place. You can see it right here. It's still nice and flat on that stud and that one right there. Now, you can see the inside of the primary case Here's one bolt with the washer, and there's the other bolt with the washer. I wiped it out as best I could in there. You'll have to remember that you never get all the oil out. Like if you do a motor oil change, you, all, you never get all your oil. And, you know, unless you take the motor completely apart, you're never going to get all the oil out. Okay, so now of course I didn't see in there, but I am confident that those washers stayed in place. So these two right here have to come out as well as all the ones around here. Now I'm going to uh, put them all back in and tighten them down and then I'll bring you back 
uh, in a minute. Okay, this is uh, this is ugly right here. Ay ay ay. All right, let's try this again because I put it on there, but the gasket came out. And so it was hanging down on the side and that's not going to work. Um, and also there's another problem. This is real close to the primary cover. I don't know if I'm going to have to pull one of the friction plates or pull, you know, a pair, you know, a friction plate and a steel plate so that can reduce. Um, another problem is that the cable is not in place and that means that the uh, ball and ramps are not in place and so there's nothing pushing against this push rod right here and without the cable I can't activate the clutch so I'm going to get this primary cover back on snug it up a little bit and then wait till the uh, here's the I already put the drain plug back in and then here's the two things with the washers, the two bolts with the washers. Let's see if I can stab it. And those two washers, I, for, I forgot to get those two round gaskets. They're not really washers. Okay. They do have some stickum on them when they're brand new. And I should have bought a couple new of those while I was doing this. Um, there ain't much room here. <laughs> there ain't much room at all. But I don't know how far that's going to come out until I get the clutch cable back in. So I'm just going to snug it up. And then move it out of the center of the garage so I can put the car away. Um, all right, so goes this whole clutch cable fiasco. All right, my friends, you have a good day.